Are you guys ready for girl chat? Yeah! yeah. So, I thought that. Well, let's face it. When you meet someone for the first time, you can't help but check out their appearance, right? Yes. Yeah. So when I meet you, I don't meet your heart, I meet your face. Yeah. <laughs> so while different people have different interpretations of what's sexy and what's beautiful, a recent Psychology Today article asked which of the two is more important. The article says that beauty is defined as being pleasing to the sight, while sexy is defined as causing feelings of oh. sexual excitement. Mm, yes. However, they warned, all right? that you have to be careful who you call sexy because while it can be flattering, if the person likes you, they could be offended or turned off if they're not into you like that. So ladies, do you think you'd react differently if someone called you sexy as opposed to beautiful? Yeah. Hmm. In a good way or a bad way? Good. They're, saying, they're saying good. Interesting. I don't mind, I think beauty fades. So I like the, the term sexy because, or <laughs> charming. I agree. Yeah, you I, know. Okay, I have actually had this conversation a million times with all my girlfriends, like, what would you rather be, beautiful or sexy? Right. Now, we've all met somebody who's absolutely beautiful. You're like, oh. And then they open their mouth and you're like, ooh, you're, you you're, just, that. Some, you're just something <laughs> nice to look at. Oh, oh I personally, about smarts. or just in general, have you ever just met somebody that's really beautiful, but the, yeah. their mannerisms are not flawed? Like, what are you talking I about, think, girl? I, Who are you? It's nobody, yeah. nobody knows. For but me, I, <laughs> at the end of the day, whether it comes to being beautiful or sexy, I'd rather be the best version of me. Yeah. Let me tell you why. And that's because, sexy, though. Yes, and that's sexy. Because at the end of the day, when you really look at what's behind the most beautiful woman or man, or what's behind the most sexiest woman or man, it comes down to confidence, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. When you really have true confidence, and if you really want to be uniquely beautiful or sexy, then you want to be unapologetically yourself. That person right there is the one that walks in with the dopest swag, the hottest light bouncing off of them, and the person that makes an unforgettable presence, you know? So being unapologetically you is hands down the hottest. So I always used to tell people I would rather be sexy than be beautiful because you can be beautiful to look at, but I don't just want to be something that you see. I want to be something that you feel. Right. Like, I want to be... That's sexy. That, that you feel that. <laughs> and like Lonnie just said, beauty fades. Like, yeah. I don't know how long this is going to stay the way it is, but... Or, or if but you even find me cute today. You then... may not like my nose or, or, like, a specific feature, but... If you, if you appreciate my swag, what I bring into a room, my yes. aura. Yes, but, but that, we've also met just, many very sexy right. people who after they think they're all that, they sit and they're like, <laughs> No, I, I and then like after a while, you're like, what else you got, bro? <laughs> like, what else is there besides that? They don't know all but that. Also, I think, I think there's an old Temptation song that says, mm -hmm. Beauty's Only Skin Deep. Mm -hmm. And I think that that, you, if you look at it in the terms of inside of you, you know, are you kind to people? Yeah. Um, yes. Do you take care? Are you nice? That's what I really find yeah. attractive yes. in a person. It's, it's, I find that there's beauty within, not necessarily the physical, but inside. So for me, maybe I like beauty more than sexiness because sexiness can, you know, can go too either. You know, nah. but I like for you to be nice. I you like know, I like the older me. people. That stays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling what you. About you talking about physical. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think because wow. if I'm honest, I've never really connected with myself as sexy. Growing up, it was something that I could just, like, honestly, I, I never, I never felt. Um, I was always told, oh, you're so cute. Or they say, oh my God, you're so beautiful. And this is what made me feel really good. They would always say, you're so beautiful inside and out. That's what I that mean. was always important for me because, you know, like you said, you can meet certain people and they're beautiful. And then the moment they talk, not how they talk, it's their spirit. Yes. Their spirit is ugly. And if right. your spirit is ugly, you ugly. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what anybody else has to say. Yep. But at the same time, I'm turning 40, you guys, and I like, I, I know, right? Um, <laughs> I'm excited, but if I'm honest, I don't know how to be sexy. Yeah, I feel, I, I feel uncomfortable, Girl, I you do. you have sex with your husband? I do, I do, and that's the thing. I am very sexual. I think I'm very that sexual. That makes you yes. sexy. We know pterodactyl, Tam. Yes. We know you know how to be sexy. 
But at the same time, if you guys, come on, you know, like if they say, take a sexy picture, I don't know how to do that. Yes, she do. Yes, she does. Really? Yeah, I yes, disagree. You do. Have you seen? Really? Pam has yeah. a mirror face, okay? I've That's talked about the mirror this face, but I'm talking about but like that mirror sexy. face looks in the mirror. She is feeling herself. When Tam looks into the mirror, it's sexy. And she'll be like, oh my God, you guys, I love my kids. Adam is so yes, great. I Put swear. a mirror in front of her. She's like, okay. Well, what makes me sexy? Okay, what I will tell you the things that make you sexy. That's when you know you're sexy. Honestly, but I'm not, I'm not, see, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not your talking about this. Your mannerisms are sexy. The fact that I'm you're talking doing this about right now yeah. is sexy. That is? The way, you, <gasps> the way oh you're dainty, the way that you take care of yourself, the really? way that you paint your nails, the way that you are delicate with your hands when you say something, the way that when you're thinking about something, you go like this. Really, Ed? Yes, it's sexy. No, but see, that I think and people's all different kinds of yeah, sexy. I think people's okay. versions of sexy is, are different. Because when I look at has Tam, a, a crush on Adrian has a crush on her. Yeah, so. yeah I think you Tam's sexy. Find. Yeah. Girl crush number one, right? Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Adrian, because yeah. I have a girl crush on her as well. Everyone knows that we like we like each other, uh, but Ooh, get a room, you two. No, 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 no. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so okay. Well, I learned I learned a lot. So you maybe it's not exuding. It's not like do because I don't think I can do this and do this. I, I can't do we that. We didn't say ratchet, girl. We said sexy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, and that's the thing. I am conf I am confident in who I am as an individual. I am very proud of my spirit. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Mom, that's very sexy. Nothing Thank can make you. a woman feel more beautiful than a passionate kiss from the man she loves. However, would she feel different if he asked permission first? Think about this. A recent advice segment in The Guardian found a man wondering if, in the Me Too era of dating, he should ask his date for permission to kiss her or just go for it. The man says that he has heard rumors that women don't like to be asked for permission to be kissed because it demonstrates some kind of weakness on the part of the man if he asks. So babes, do you think nowadays men need consent to kiss or should they be romantic and spontaneous? Cause you know, with Me Too going on now, you never yeah. know. You don't know but, how you can approach a woman when it but comes to But my thing is with the Me Too movement, if I'm not incorrect, yeah. is that it's about power for sex, mm -hmm. you know, it's not about sex. It's about someone having power to take advantage of you mm -hmm. and they, you know, try to use sex. So to me, I look at that differently than if I'm going out on a date with a guy that I want to go out on a date with Got and it. I'm consenting to go out on a date with and something may happen. To me, that's different. See, yes. But you can't be too safe nowadays. Like even when a woman goes on the date, it could be the fourth date. It could be, there are women who, or men who get taken advantage of as their girlfriend or wife husband. Mm -hmm. There are people who get raped as boyfriends or girlfriends. There are people true. that get raped as husband as and husband wife. wife. Yeah. Yes, it's real. So honestly, it, I, I agree. In the dating world now, I talk to my girlfriends about this. My girlfriends still want a guy to just take the bull by its horns, they say, and yeah. go in and, and, yeah. and, and, and take that moment. It's but romantic. then you got women who are like, uh-uh, me too, that wasn't cool. It all comes down to the lean-in. You still, it, it's only the lean-in that'll tell you if it's cool. So I think I, if you're a guy, let's just say, if you're traditionally a guy and you're gonna make the move, you gotta lean in, right? Okay, so Tam, like if we're on a yes, date, right? Yes, I'm gonna demonstrate yes. it. So if we're on a date and I'm like, okay. okay, we're feeling it, we had a great dinner, you're saucy, we're hot, and we're like, okay, Why let you me didn't just... lean in to me? I know. But you know I'm gonna kiss you. <laughs> So, no, no, but you. honestly, so, I was thinking the same thing. No! Okay, she so, heard <laughs> listen, so a guy has to do this. He's got to, like, slowly lean in. And I think in this time, this is where it's got to go in in his mind, right? So if a girl right. wants... Once you, wants you would move, ticket, you would move by in this, closer. I think it's like by what if stage. I want to do a threesome. Stage one right here. Stage one is I'm gonna try it and let me make she's eye contact. Right, but she's cool. right behind you. Stage is right behind oh you. Oh my she's god. She's right behind you. Real. real <laughs> Me, but <laughs> your <laughs> that was a really soft lip, though. I'm just saying. No, but her lips, her no, lips are I like pillows. Be, I want to be really careful. Nice. I want to be careful. I want to be very careful about what we're saying. Okay. Yes. Because okay. seriously, this was playing. I know, okay? I know, I know, I know. We have men come on the show, and 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 Jeannie, yes. people have yes. said, you know, you and Jeannie, y'all flirt with the dudes, and 
You guys, we're taking it all, too far. We're just yeah. having it's a good time. Yeah, it's this fun. was all in fun. It are is, you okay? Yes, yes I am. I'm okay. Thank you. Are you, can, can you like are you okay? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, you, exactly. I, she's a good singer. So wait, this is, okay, this would be my, um, do I still have lipstick on, Nyla? But don't you agree, that's the only time can a guy can really tell, yes, or a woman can tell. Wait, I actually know what they should do. What I think there do. is a safe way to do a combination of both. Kay. To ask in a sexy, dope way. You want to try with me, Adrian? Yeah. <laughs> what is happening here? I, I would yes. love this. Yes. yes. <laughs> Wait, but seriously, Israel did this to me. OK. Um, it was like a sexy way, but at the same time, he wanted to know, like, it's OK. OK. Yeah. okay. So, so if a guy is with you, this I won't kiss you. You could just OK, just this to me is sexy. OK. Like, if y'all are talking or whatever's happening, you're about to leave, and you're like, man. <laughs> I really want to kiss you so bad right now. Like yes, that. It's and like then, a loaded question. Yes. yes. That's so, like, if somebody's like, man, I just. Oh, I just wanna, it's like, like a like, joke like, on the you're square. Like, you're like, I just, I just want to kiss you so bad right now. And then as a girl, you like, word? <laughs> <laughs> and then you go in, and then it works. But it, <laughs> and technically, he did ask permission, yes. yeah, but it's right. not like, can I kiss yes, you? Oh, yeah, sign on weird. the dotted line. It's like, yeah. man. So just find man. a creative way of, of saying it. Yeah, like, there's a sexy way to ask I don't know. Someone. I still like the or lean in. Or you would even say, what would you do right now if I just kissed you? Oh, Ooh, see, yeah. that's awesome. And then you got to say, I would be like, try and find out, boo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a sexy way. That's and, it. and I honestly I like would that. say go for that because it, um, it's better to be safe than sorry. That's just where I'm yeah. at right now. I would much rather, there's a sexy way to do it. What would you do if I leaned in and kissed you right now? Man, I want to kiss you so yeah, bad right now. Yeah, because sometimes, I mean, you are right. You guys are right. Sometimes you do get miscues and you yeah. think thinking that yeah. you want to be kissed and you don't. <laughs> just be like, no. Yeah. Better to right. be safe than be sorry. sorry. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Smart. All right. Or Smart. lean in and take your time. And by the time you get to her lips, if she hasn't reached for her mace, you good. <laughs> you right. Okay. Well, from navigating dating to navigating friendship, <laughs> making new friends as an adult can be challenging, <laughs> especially when you're always coupled up with your boo. But don't worry, you're not alone. Lipstick Madame Noir you. recently listed their quote, challenges every couple faces trying to make couple friends. And they're super relatable. Mm. Some of the changes include making sure there's equal chemistry in the entire group, okay. making sure everyone's schedule schedule syncs up for get-togethers, and making sure there are no significant age gaps in the Ooh, group. Ooh, that's I a weird that one. one. Uh, but Wait, I mean, right? That's weird. That's interesting. I like meeting with people in different age groups, because I want to learn what the other, a, you know, what they're talking about at 50, 60, or 20. And yeah. some people act younger, and some people act older. Yeah. So that one's a little weird, but yeah. I actually agree with the rest of it. And I, Iz and I have a couple that we love to hang out with, and and vacation with, which I think is super important, which yeah. is my sister and her husband, Jert. Shout out oh, to you guys. I we love, love you guys. Awesome. Love they are our oh, favorite couple ever. And I think what makes them so fun is, one, me and my sister already were close, naturally. But actually, Jert and Israel became friends way before me and Israel ever started dating, when Iz and oh, I no were just way. friends. Yeah, Jared and Israel got super tight. Is, uh, Jared's a lawyer, and uh, they connected on business stuff. Oh, so they oh, have wow. their own relationship on their own that they had way before oh, us. Good. Yeah, and then me and my sister get to hang out. Also, we have the same birthdays. Like, um, me and my sister are two weeks apart. We're both October babies. Yeah. I'm, like, into this. I think it's interesting. <laughs> and Jared and Israel are four are five days apart. They're both maybe. Oh, my God. But that's just so, sister. But, what, are, what are you and Adam No, please? Adam and I actually... I we we have it well because in the beginning when when Adam and I were dating I really like Adam's friends yeah. they've become my friends yeah. and I think there's only one guy where I'm like mm -mm -mm, I actually like his girlfriend more than him <laughs> is it uh, that, doesn't it's crazy that suck when you like one but the other one's like but we're both mature yes. about it though so yeah. if he doesn't like one of my friends or I don't like one of his friends couples uh -huh. we just kind of just deal with it oh, but or you just drink because, more True, but I think, I don't know. I, th I think the only reason why I feel that way is because we get along with yeah. pretty much everybody. Yeah. Because yeah. we're yeah. very, very picky about our friends. But you find out a lot about people when you go on vacation with them. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's true. couples when we you decide. We have not done that yet. There are complainers. They don't want to do yes. nothing. They don't want to see nothing. Yes. Yeah. They. Sometimes you find out things about the couple you don't want to know. Uh -huh. They argue. Mm -hmm. Freak. 
very You're deep. uncomfortable. When couples can't contain that She's an gone argument. through this. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. That's funny. When you get stuck in the in the argument, like you're vacationing, so where are you gonna go? You guys are stuck there on the island together. So you just gotta sit while they're both arguing at each yeah, other. It gets weird. Yes. Well, thank God I'm, I don't have to go through that. Yeah. <laughs>